hello and welcome to this channel in today's video we are learning how to wind the bobbin i made another video about the parts of the bobbin and the bobbin case so you can check on that video and then you i believe you learn something so this is the bobbin this is the bobbin case i'm going to show you how to wind this bobbin using this sewing machine it's a manual sewing machine and i'm going to to teach you several ways let's say two ways of how you can wind this bobbin the first method it has several steps the first one you disengage the the needle using this stop motion screw so you are going to disengage it using the stop motion screw and then after that mine is is fixed permanently so i will not disengage it for today and then the second step is to wind a little amount of thread and then this is the bobbin winder I believe you can see it the bobbin winder after that we're going to fix it inside here just wind a little and then after that you fix it here and then after that we press the press and then after you press it seems as if my bobbin winder is faulty but after you press you now you start treadling the machine as it rotates and winds so basically that's how you wind the bobbin if all the other parts are not okay and not working there is a way we do it you'll just get something that can fit inside this hole either either a, a seam ripper or you can use even a ball point you just or even a nail or a needle a big needle you insert it like this and then after that you start treadling the machine and then you start winding it's very easy you see you you normally control the tension of the of the thread as you wind so that it is not too loose and you make sure that when you're winding the thread is spreading all around the the bobbin let me use the seam ripper it's a tool that you can never lack when you're doing this kind of job when you're a designer you need a seam ripper all the time So you hold the thread like this too in order to distribute it evenly so that's it and as you can see our thread is tightly and evenly distributed in the bobbin and then you can cut your thread fix your bobbin in the bobbin case and we said when you're fixing you make sure that the bobbin is moving in a clockwise direction that is anti-clockwise is that clockwise yes and then fix the thread through the slit and then to the delivery eye then you can pull a little to see whether it's, it's rotating you can see it's nice after that we are going to fix it inside the the shutter till you hear that click sound 
So now I'm going to teach us how to to thread the machine. To thread the machine, you need a thread and then you need a spool pin. Mine is located here. There are some spool pins that are normally located here on top here. But we can use this one just the way it is. Place the needle on this. this place the thread on the spool pin. And then after that, pass it through the thread guide. This thread guide through this other thread guide here. And then from there, we'll take it to the tension disc. The tension disc is here. So you pass the thread through the tension disc and you make sure it goes round, 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 round this tension disc. This way. Uh -huh. And then after that, we are going to fix it in the through this hole of the take up lever from the back side towards the front. From the back towards the front of the take up lever. And then after that, there's a thread guide here. This thread guide, pass it through the thread guide. And then there's another thread guide here near the it's near the needle clamp so you pass it through there again and then after that you pass it through the needle hole the hole of the needle that way then you go right wow that's nice and then after that we have to remove the lower thread and bring it to the upper side. So what we normally do, you hold this upper thread and then you hold this section here, the hand wheel, hold the hand wheel and then you turn it in front. until the needle goes inside its hole and then you make a full turn and then you pull now the thread has come out just pick it and pull it and then all these threads all these threads you take them to the back now your machine you are ready for stitching we want to test our our stitches it's always important when you're testing the stitches you test it on a double fabric so i'm going to fold this one like this you lift up the the presser foot and then you insert the, the fabric, lower the presser foot. And then you begin stitching. This is the back stitch, forward stitch. When you're beginning and you're ending your stitches, you keep all your back stitch. So I think our machine is back stitching properly. Yeah. Yes, the upper side of the stitches, they are okay. And the back side, they are also okay. So our stitches are okay, they are the correct side. They are the correct size, so the same is nice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.